Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop, and got a new addition to the shop. Uh, sorry I haven't put on videos the last two weeks. I've been slammed with field work. It's harvest season, so. And I've been working on some stuff for the shop. So I picked up this guy. It's Kearney and Trekker. It's a Model 2D rotary head milling machine. Very cool machine. The more I look at it, the more I like it. So if you're not familiar with these, the spindle can be moved in and out. I don't want to move anything. I'm greasing everything or oiling it. I don't want to move it on this surface for us because that's like sandpaper. But you can see there's dovetails here. So the spindle will move, I believe it's like uh, just a hair over four inches each way or one way or ever. You turn this knob here, and let me switch hands here. Cool spindle turns. So, yeah, I gotta fix that little hose fitting there. So, yeah, this whole spindle you can offset and rotate it for doing like circles and stuff. So, that's super cool. And it will go down. Oh, I think about three inches, the quill. You can set the rotary head feeds. So the speed in which this will turn. And then the spindle speeds. Let's go over there. And here's your uh, uh, feeds for the rotary head. There's five motors on this thing. Every access... A movement has its own motor. And here's the side to side table feed. Here's the levers, another motor. And here's the power feed. Pull this out here. Put it up and down on the table. I don't know if that's an actual feed or just a wrap it up and down. Then there's a, you know, these disengage. So that, there's another motor right there. There's a pump motor down there. So yeah, very cool machine. I've looped it up. I've moved stuff just a little bit, because again, I don't like to move stuff on this surface rust. Yeah, everything moves nice and tight. There's not a lot of backlash in any of the wheels. There's an hour meter on it, which is super cool. So 2,600 hours. It has the decommissioned tags. So this came was at some point in the lo local uh, nuclear plant. It has the shelf. This is where you store your goodies. And everyone said, these calls take a special spindle. Well, some of the goodies that came with it was a very extensive call it set for both these larger ones. I think they're close to a 30 taper from my research. I still need more to do. And these smaller ones for the, what I'm told is the highly coveted angle head. This will fit on the spindle and you can rotate this sorry about the light over here and you need access and you can feed it with this so you can do a lot with this machine there's the drive for it there's a chuck there so yeah between the power feeds the rotating of the spindle the offsetting of the spindle then being able to put that off that angled head in there, you can do some crazy things with these machines. And I'm very excited for it and uh, try it out some, on some stuff. So I'm going to start cleaning it up tomorrow. I just got it unloaded. Me and Cody from Hidden World Forge. This, I cannot stress this enough. This UHMW is amazing for unloading machines. This machine, the book says it weighs 5,000 pounds. We put it on a tilt deck rental trailer 
and I uh, use the chain come along, chain fall, to pull it to the, tip, the tipping point. And with a, using another chain fall as a, as a break, as you will, me and him pushed it 90% of the way off the trailer. This, this stuff is amazing. Get yourself some of this UHMW if you're going to be moving heavy machines. We unloaded this thing by ourselves with no equipment, you know, in, in less than an hour. So, there'll be some videos on this thing coming up. This will be a very nice addition to the shop. I've been really busting my butt out in the field for next year. I got some good, good plans for the shop that are, everything's kind of falling into place. Uh, the Van Norman mill was just an added bonus to that. So I'm really excited. So again, there'll be more videos coming. I've just been out in the field slammed again, everything I can to get a, to get everything in motion. There's going to be some hopefully exciting times for the channel and stuff coming up in the not too distant future. So yeah, just want to show this guy. Once I get it all running, it's all wired for a 480 volt right now. So I need to change that. There'll be some videos on it uh, not for too long. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.